Welcome back to How to Bet. Remember to go to howtobet.com. Uh, get all the sports books. You get articles uh, showing the Genius Mill rating articles for them. Uh, to, and really how to help you succeed when, when making your bets. Yeah, and there's, you know, the Thursday night games, the Sunday night games, the Monday night games, all the different games overall. Just look on the front page of howtobet.com. And remember, you can see us at any time. You can see on social media, you can see snippets of the show. You can see the full show, of course, on YouTube. Uh, so remember to get there. And uh, again, uh, on Twitter, I am fine line 33 F E I N L I N E 33. Sean, it's more complicated. At the prodigal Sean S E I N and at a Margot football, you'll see me most of the time during the week talking about. You, you want know, to give out a soccer bet? Go ahead. Proper. You proper. Want, I'm letting you each week. I'm going to let you give out a so- one soccer bet. I don't want it discussed any further. Just yeah, give out a soccer when you had Ronaldo. a winner. So yeah. since you had a winner, let's go. Let's try uh, to make it two weeks. In a row. I think you know you got to go with uh, the big teams again. You know Chelsea. Manchester United they're the big, and they're the biggest. Manchester City. So who are you taking? Parley. I know I take those oh, that's the parlay? Parlay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah are they undefeated, all of them? Uh, yes. Like okay. Manchester United leads the league. There are three three wins and a draw. I think they're all on 10 points. Uh, it's basically, you know, the Premier League top, you know, it's the four teams. It's the four teams and everybody. All right, that's enough. All right, back, so, to, uh, back to real football. By the way, uh, make sure you uh, go to the YouTube and uh, click subscribe, like, and notification, the bells, all the ding, ding. Remember ding, to ding. listen. Uh, you know, all the links are in these videos. All the links are on howtobet.com as well. Uh, once again, Caesar Sportsbook. They're our favorite sports book. Uh, we personally use 12 states, Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Iowa, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, Virginia, and West Virginia. So depending on what state where you're in, you know, you can use that. How to Bet RF stands for risk-free. You get a risk-free five thousand dollar five thousand that's bet. no joke first bet five th- I, look man it's it's unbelievable no we talk about you know some of the bonus codes for points bet which is a two thousand uh, dollar risk-free bet as well so uh if you're in need of a sports book just go to how to and you'll see all the different ones so let's not waste any more time Wait, and we'll... i want to waste some more time okay i want to tell you tell the good people oh guess what we got get swag so I'll go to YouTube after, obviously, you like and subscribe or the our Twitter, like and subscribe. Send us a message saying, I want merch. merch. I want swag. swag. And we will send you some kind of swag. We got we t-shirts, shirts, hats, hats, water bottles, our producer, pens, Tra- pads. Trey's got his swag on. I know. Oh, nice. He's kind of buried in the back there. But yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got the swag. I got, he got I, the shirt. Yeah, I got my United shirt on Trey today because we play today. So, Champions League, let's go. Um, you know who doesn't have the swag? Our executive director, Tiffany Hartman. She has, she's got does, swag. She's got swag. But, but she doesn't, she doesn't have, have swag on. How to bet swag yeah. yet. Yeah. She's got swag. She's got swag. All right. Let's finish this thing up. Are you done, by the way? Uh, you're done with your promotions and all that stuff? Oh, uh, yeah, you know. Right, let's finish call, up the NFL. Call to action. Just remember, stick around. We're going to give you, you know, three ways to, to mm-hmm. bet smarter, maybe. All right. First game up, I will butt out because this is part of my power play parlay of the week. Carolina plus three against New Orleans. You already know my pick. I like Carolina. Sean, your pick on this game. Uh, you know, I'm going to go the other way. New Orleans, I, I think, uh, you know, Jameis Winston looked good. And uh, I, this could be... I, I think New Orleans could be a little bit of a surprise team. Not a surprise. They were 12-4 last year. But I don't think – I think everybody – Surprise because of the quarterback change. Yeah, I thought they were going to take us – you know, yeah. everybody thought they were going to take us. Michael Thomas is going too. Yeah, so. yeah. No, I think they're going to be okay. All right. Now, the Bears and Cincinnati. Cincinnati 1-0. and oh, Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah. They are – the Bengals are a three-and-a-half-point underdog. So, if you want the Bears, you got to lay three-and-a-half. You're willing to do that, Mr. Miller. Uh, I will probably bet it down to minus three, but I'll take Chicago in that game. I, you know, they looked good in that in that game uh, for three quarters. The Rams, I think, kind of in the fourth quarter, blew them out a little bit. Rams but, a much better team in Cincinnati. Yes, so I, I will agree. I'm going to take three and a half. I'm going to I'm going to take the Bears. I'll lay the three and a half. Okay, you take the extra. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's not going to bother me. Next up, the one and O Pittsburgh Steelers and the one and O Las Vegas Raiders. The Steelers a six and a half point favorite in this one after a big win 
against the Bills. The Bills were very disappointing, but we'll get to that. So the Steelers minus six and a half. Yeah. What say you? Uh, once again, you know, I don't like Vegas having to play Monday night and then having to go across the country. I think, you know, an emotional win, that emotional game, a little bit draining overtime. I, I think Pittsburgh, big win, and playing at home. I, I'm going to go with the Steelers here. I'm going to shock you here because I'm taking a team that coming into the season I didn't think was very good. I still don't think they're very good, and yet – for the second week in a row, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to bet them to win outright. I'm going to take the Vegas Raiders plus the six and a half, but I'm going to I'm going to bet them outright. Well, you got a plus uh, two hundred money line yeah, there. Yeah, I bet. I told everybody last week. I thought just on raw emotion, Why? the opening in Vegas. I just had a feeling Vegas yeah. and the and 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 they won the game outright. I told you that I was going to take them outright. I'm going to take them again outright over the Steelers. Why? I I just don't like the Steelers. It's more about okay. the other team now. The Ravens game Monday night. I was it, to me it was just. I know I'm taking the team that's not as good as the other team, but yeah. I just thought of, you know, with that Vegas stadium and everything and all pumped up. Is that one of the? I mean, we talk about like the different ways you can bet. I mean, you know, obviously you can crunch numbers until the cows come home, but you have to you, you have to have an intuition and a feeling. If, yeah, if you're a good better, you got to have a feeling about stuff sometimes too, right? Yes, but I didn't. I, I don't recommend bet, betting on emotion. As we tell you in the, the top of the show, bet with your head, not with your heart. Uh, be smart. Don't bet over your means. But uh, I just with this one, I don't trust this. I just don't uh, trust the Steelers. I, I think Buffalo is just terrible uh, for whatever reason in, in the opener. And just another quick one. Once again, I think we talked about it last week, but if you think an underdog is going to win outright, you, you just take the money yeah, line. You, yeah. you, 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 Crush I mean, you can, you can bet the points and, you know, whatever. But if you in, if you think they're going to win, take the money line Crush because it. you're going to get plus 200 instead of minus one, 105 or whatever. Absolutely. Now, uh, the Los Angeles Rams minus four and a half against Indianapolis. Will the Colts go 0 and 2 with their new addition, Carson Wentz? Yes. I don't agree with you. You think the Indianapolis is going to win this game? I, uh, I I don't know that they're going to win, but again, I see a close game, and it's four and a half point spread. I'm going to take the four and a half and the Colts. I think the Rams are. Un- I I'm just. I think they're big time. You're thrilled with the Rams. Yes. Uh, again, I think the NFC, close game. I, I think the NFC West, you know, you see what Seattle did going there and just really kind of dominating that game. And I, I, I mean, personally, I think the Rams are better than Seattle. So I'm going to say I'm going to go with the Rams. An AFC East contest, the Buffalo Bills, they're going to look to not go 0-2. That would be something if they do. They're minus three and a half against the Miami Dolphins. I... This is a tough game to pick. This is for tough. Me. I'm going to tell you why. This is. I'm going to tell you why I think this is tough, and then I'm going to let you give your oh, bet. Okay. This is tough because everybody in the world is going to say there's no way Buffalo goes 0 and 2. I think they're there's a going way. to, you know, ramp it up, yeah. amp it up, beat the Dolphins badly. I don't know if that's going to be the case. It's weird with the Buffalo when you saw them in the playoffs last year. You know, this Josh Allen, he's you know he's very good. He put up very a lot good. of numbers, but they don't score a lot of points in some games. It just they don't have a running game. It's one of the problems. Yeah, and they and they just you know Miami's decent. They got a good. I mean, I'll pro- I'm going to take Buffalo here. I'm going to bet it down to minus three, but I'm not. This is like the least confident game of the weekend. Like I wouldn't bet this game. Yeah, I, personally, I don't love it. Obviously, this these none of these are are, are uh, in our parlay. None, yeah, yeah. None of, well, the, I don't the, like this. Of, I, that, this I game's would, not a problem. Yeah, I so, wouldn't bet this I, game. but I'm also going to take the Bills minus three and a half because I could get suckered into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't think they'll go zero and two. Uh, next on the slate, the Denver Broncos minus six against Jacksonville, a Jacksonville team that, I mean, they lost to a Houston team that has very limited talent. Yeah, Jacksonville stinks. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, once again, like, I don't think Denver's a world beater. I mean, that's my team, you know, if I you know, back them. But Denver minus six, uh you know, on the road, if, I'll tell you, I'll, I will say this. Denver usually slow starts and then gets better as the season goes. If Denver starts here 2-0 and with the Jets next week at home mm-hmm. and maybe 3-0, that, that, this could be a very interesting team. And Teddy Bidrutter does a good job managing the game. He doesn't make mistakes. He gets the ball, you know, down the field a little bit. Judy loss is, is, yeah. is going to hurt him a little, but they have some good weapons. Yeah, and Patrick uh, might step in. Their defense uh, is very good. Cortland Sutton. And uh, Jacksonville is not going to do anything. 
anything. Yeah, I mean, I don't uh, think so either. Lawrence threw three three interceptions last week, and I, I think against this good defense, he, he could struggle. More's come. More interceptions are coming. So I'll, I'll also take Denver minus the six in this one. Uh, I'm going to step out on this one, this next game, because I already told you New England minus four over the Jets, one of my parlay uh, power plays of the week. So I'll step out. I have New England. Who do you like? I, I'm going to take New England. Uh, I just, I mean, the, once again, I don't think the Jets, Jets are any good. Yeah, it's, this is more a pick against the Jets. Like, uh, yeah. you know, Mac Jones had a pretty decent game, I, you know. That was it. That was a pretty good game, actually, uh, against uh, Miami. You know, they just didn't end up winning, but um, big mistake at the end. But I just, you know, Jets aren't very good. I'll go with uh, New England. Uh, next game, Tampa Bay minus twelve and a half over Atlanta. We know Atlanta's <laughs> terrible. The 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 Bucks. I don't think the Bucks were happy at all, even though they won the game. I don't think they were happy. I think they come out this week and make a big statement, a big win for. Tampa in this one yeah you know Dallas's offense is pretty good you know their defense isn't but uh you know Tampa Bay made a lot of emotion they get the banner the ring of honor all this stuff opening night you know they end up winning the game you know they can you know exhale they get 10 days to get ready for Atlanta and you know they probably didn't need 10 days because Atlanta stinks I mean I, I was if the line gets above Two touchdowns, I get a little worried there because that's a lot of points in an NFL game. But right now, under two touchdowns, Tampa Bay should win this by two, three touchdowns a minimum. Los Angeles Chargers, uh, we, we discussed this one earlier, but uh, we, we both agree that the Chargers yeah. minus a two and a half over Dallas. That was uh, part of our primetime bets of the week. And finally, to wrap things up on the NFL slate, Tennessee and Seattle. Tennessee is a dog in this one, a five and a half point dog, and they and they look terrible. Um, in week one. And Seattle looked good. Yeah. And Seattle's playing at home. Um, you know, I got a Tennessee West. Uh, you know, I'm gonna back Tennessee West when they're playing these these other bum division teams. I'm gonna back them. You know, you got the you know another the other four o'clock game Arizona and Vikings as well. You know, it's an NFC West team against the NFC North. But I, I'm gonna go with the Seahawks. And uh, this is I think this is going to be one of these things where all season uh, when the NFC West is going out of the NFC West to play these teams, especially at home, uh, you got to back them because they're, they're, this division is really good. And these teams need to win, you know, out of the com- out of the division to, to make the playoffs. Yeah. And I'm going to go the other way again. I think a tight game. I'll take Tennessee plus the five and a half. They're not as bad as they showed last week. Not sure what went on there, but uh, I think they adjust things and, and keep it at least close against Seattle. What uh, just quickly too with the the Vikings and Cardinals? Uh, what do you you know? I, obviously, I, I talked about them earlier. It was one of my you know? Are you on the Cardinals? Or? Yeah, I, I, you have to pretty much be on the Cardinals. I think the Minnesota just can't trust them. I just I can't. How do you? I just don't understand. That division is up for grabs, and everybody's talking about the Vikings, and then you go out and you lose to Cincinnati. Like it just, it's just weird. I, I just twelve penalties in the first half for Minnesota. Which we started this with a you know with the soccer bet uh, with with those teams where I said the top you know the the, the teams at the top and I, I think the NFL is a little bit like that you know these the NFC West the the really good teams I think are up here and maybe there's a couple here but then there's a lot of teams in this like. You know, so you don't believe in NFL malaise. parody anymore? No, okay. I, you know, I think there's I, whatever. I think you know the parody. The, these teams are all going to have like decent records. Like you know, Vikings might be eight and nine or nine and eight, but they're just playing a bunch of teams that stink. So, the, but these teams up here, you know, the real good teams are going to win thirteen games and fourteen. You know, there's going to be some teams going fourteen and three, fifteen and two, sixteen and one. I think this year. Yeah, remember that seventeen game schedule this year. Do you think any team goes seventeen and zero? No. Do you think any team goes sixteen and one? No. What's the most wins this year? Fifteen. Fifteen and That's two. The most Chiefs. Obviously. Yeah. Chiefs. Yeah. Maybe Tampa. Okay. Uh, they're, they're the two teams I think uh, will probably represent again. Yeah. So uh, we again we thank you for joining us on How to Bet uh, again. I uh, know there's a trillion different podcasts you can watch, so we do appreciate you watching ours and listening to ours. You can find it on outlets all over the 
audio world. You can see us on video on YouTube. You'll see snippets of the show out there on, on social media. And uh, Sean, once again, our, uh, our promos for this week. Hey, great. Very quick at the end here, very quickly. Uh, points bet. Sign up for a new account and get two risk free bets worth up to $2,000. Bonus code how to bet. And remember, the one of them is the $500 regular bet, and one of them is a $1,500 points bet. Where, you know, if you take Tampa Bay minus 12 and they win by 40, you're going to get 20 times your bet. I love that. I love it. Uh, it's a, it's I might a, do that. Yeah, it, it, it is. It, it's it's pretty interesting. But once it, you got to remember, if they only win by two, like the other night, you You're lose. Trouble. You know, the, you would have lost like seven times your bet. Um, Unibet Sportsbook. Sign up for a new account and get a risk free bet's worth up to two hundred and fifty dollars. Bonus code Uni Gambler. And make sure you like and subscribe us on YouTube. Leave your comments for the swag and the merch. Swag. And follow us on Twitter at the Prodigal Show and at Amargo Football and at Fine Line Thirty Three. F E I N L I N E. And how to bet. Uh, how to bet's got a t- uh, thing and you'll see our all our stuff our stories and our our videos and all the stitcher and anchor and all that stuff will be tweeted out uh during the day i believe we're going uh wednesdays at 12 wednesdays at 12 for the podcast thursday uh for for the video so uh check it out check it out Again, go to howtobet.com. Thanks to everybody for watching and listening. Thanks to our producer, Sean Wright, our executive director, Tiffany Hartman. Thanks to Lou Monaco from gambling.com for joining us today. For Sean the Genius Miller, I'm Daryl Fine. See you next week on How to Bet. Let's get it.